During April break, AITE's history teacher Stephen Cazzaneto arranged a trip to Eastern Europe. About 20 students along with staff members participated in the trip that toured Germany, Czech Republic, Poland, and Hungary. It sounds like a lot to do in just 10 days, but the students found it to be a new experience in which they couldn't wait to do. Like, when am I ever going to get to go to uh, Central Europe again? And I think it's a, so I might as well take that opportunity. Um, it's, it's a really interesting part of the world, and um, I felt like I should take the time to go see it. Uh, I thought it was cool because it was, um, like a different part of Europe because everyone else goes to like Italy and that didn't really interest me that part of Europe Eastern Europe and Central Europe did. During the trip the students and teachers toured the Jewish Museum in Germany which was just as fascinating as going to the local food stands for some lunch and dinner. Um, I would probably go back to Krakow because uh, it, it was really fun there and um, I, I would like to go back and experience some more. And do you have a place you'd like to go back to? I would go back to Krakow also. It was a lot of fun. There were the best like museums and stuff there. One place in particular that the students will never forget is Auschwitz, Poland. Many students couldn't believe their eyes when they visited the former World War II concentration camp and, and captured some of the experience of black and white photos of the railroad tracks at Birkow, also known as Auschwitz II. Mostly a lot of pictures so I can show like my family and future generations. This trip was just as fascinating for the teachers as it was for the students. Even Mr. Castano says that he really got to act like a student again and is already thinking about another trip for next year. <coughs> We're going to be going to Vietnam, Cambodia, and Thailand next year. Um, just because it's a part of Southeast Asia, I think it's a great experience. I think a lot of the kids, there's a, um, from a historical point of view, from a language arts point of view, from a cultural point of view, it's totally different than anything we've done before, and I think it'd be a great experience.